So we're scanned to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons or right back. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You're wasting your energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Safe Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and right now we are having some major, major gremlins. So, I'm in the process of trying to get the other guys back. Um, it's 35 minutes podcast working, which is terrifying to say the least i finally managed to get it working and i'm happy with that so let's just go forward and hope it works okay i've added the others to this let's see if i can get them on the air um amy is in the chat room amy can hear me obviously so i hope hey hey yay we can hear you too everybody's here <laughs> Woo! Good timing, Sam. Because we only just got this stupid thing started and Sam joins <laughs> us. Good timing, Sam. Okay, so we have Scarecrow. Yo! We have Stuart. I will be a zombie next week. And we have Amy. Hey, yo. And on tonight's podcast, we are talking Christopher Lee, Jurassic World, and Dark Matter. Since it's a late start, it's probably going to be a late finish. Yay! <laughs> so we all looking forward to that. Anyway, let's get started. Um, this week, unfortunately, Christopher Lee passed away. He's probably one of the greatest actors of our age. He's been in more yeah. things than I can count. According to IMDb, it's like 250 things he's credited as being in, all the way back to the late 40s, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, sorry, I've we've had some technical issues, I had to restart my computer a few times, so I've lost all of my stuff that I had set up for the podcast. So, yeah. You still sound like you're lagging. <laughs> oh man, I am lagging catastrophically. Oh. I was going to say you sound really bad, <laughs> really yeah, laggy. Yeah, I was lagging really bad because of reasons. Okay, anyway, so yeah, so we're... Just he starting, ran away too. We're, we're <laughs> starting off talking about uh, Christopher Lee. So he's been in, according to IMDb, uh, let's see, where is it? He's been in 278 credits he's got on IMDb for acting. And that's nice. from, where is it? Did you say 1946? 1946 in Kaleidoscope is his first credit. And it goes the whole way through to now. Hundreds upon hundreds. It'd take us an hour just to read them all. <laughs> but he's been in video games. He was... The, the, the two that you'll know him as, if you know him as two characters, is Saruman from Lord of the Rings... And Count Dooku from Star Wars, Episode 2 and 3. He was the guy that gave Yoda a run for his money, which was hilarious. Um, so, yeah, so he will definitely, definitely be missed. Um, he was just actually about to go, about to start work on his next movie, believe it or not. At the age of 93, he was still making movies. So. Why not? <laughs> That's what I call one hat ass guy. Yeah, it's like it's it is sad because because me and my friends jokingly said if Christopher Lee ever passes away, he either will do it acting or or in his rock and roll band. Yeah. Fortunately, so. none of that happened. <laughs> so yeah, so he's got what? The, he's got fifty four credits for f archive footage from games and stuff. What the hell? Yeah, he's, he was in um, he was in um, Kingdom Hearts two. He was Anton the Wise, 
He's got 193 credits for self. <laughs> Bloody hell. This is, he had an incredible career. Yeah, he, he really, really did. So he's the one. It's 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 just so it was so and it was so way out of left field as well. Yeah, I, I genuinely didn't expect him to sort of. Yeah. Anyway, really, really sad that he's gone, and um, we're definitely gonna have to do a Star Wars prequels thing. In the coming weeks. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, anyway, moving on. This week we mostly sat down and watched Jurassic World, and I just want to start with, we'll start with what we thought going in, how we was sort, of, what our expectations were, and to be perfectly honest, when I walked in, my expectations were non-existent. Best way to do it. They were Agreed. so low, so cataclysmically low, that a dinosaur could have tap danced off the side of the screen and I would have been like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. That would have been really funny. Oh, oh it would have. <laughs> just, <what> the... <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then it's going, hello, my baby, hello, my darling, hello, my ragtime gal. Yeah. See, little do people know, that is how the Indominus Express... Rex loses at the end of the movie. He puts on a top hat, gets himself on the walking <laughs> just stick, walks on the screen, and he just daphazardly dances off the side of the screen, and that's the end of it. Everyone just stares confused. I called no, I called bullshit. I thought he just wanted to go for a swim. That <laughs> <laughs> too. We'll get to, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, I like so. the hamster balls. Yeah, the, ha the hamster balls were pretty cool. <laughs> the ja the gyro balls. Um, yeah. I went into the movie with uh. I don't know if it was much of um of an expectation, but just sort of just it, it just more of like just remembering watching the the other three movies growing up. Yeah, and it's just like ah memories. Yeah, sweet yeah. sweet memories. I think they did it right though. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Most, especially the uh, tribute parts for the original. Oh, the yeah. throwbacks were amazing. The um, best thing is they filmed it in the same spot. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's yeah. why they could do the tie-ins. Yeah. Well, see, my probably my favourite part... The, the, okay, better yet. The best way I would review this movie if I had to give it a sort of a rating would probably be 7 out of 10. Um, 7, 8 for the feels, maybe. So I'll, I'll stick with 7. Um, and the way I like to look at it is if there was no Jurassic Park 2 or 3, this would be up there as one of the greatest sequels of all time. It really would. Would you guys agree with that? Oh yeah, it was a great. I would say, I would say like, this, I wanna... this one almost is worth tossing the other two, Jurassic Park two and three, out the window. Yeah, and I'm... just say that Jurassic World is the true sequel. Yeah, well, they don't even reference two or three. They only ever reference one, so they effectively yeah. do that to the timeline. Um, yeah, basically, two or three don't exist. Yeah. Speaking of Jurassic Park 2, really quickly, did you hear they found the trailer in a Californian um, field? Like, yeah. <laughs> a little while ago, and they've been fixing it up. It's all over YouTube. It's absolutely hilarious. So it's going to cost them between ten and 50000 US dollars to fix it back up to screen standards, like back up to full standards, so they can drive it around the States and live in it. If I was them, I would have gone Universal Studios. Here is a perfect thing for you to throw money at to promote Jurassic World. Help us fix when this thing said, up, and then we could drive around the world. When you said trailer, I thought you meant the video trailer. No, no, no. I, the, you know the RV with the trailer? It goes over yeah. the cliff in the movie? That. They found that in a field, just dilapidated to hell. And, wow. Um, they fixed it up. They got it sort of street-worthy and drove it back into some drove it into town and it's now at a place getting fixed up but the guys that have found it are Jurassic Park massive Jurassic Park fans they drive Jurassic Park jeeps everywhere level of fan and it's sort of a I want one moment um <laughs> yeah the car's I was like, well, to be fair it's it's not Jurassic Park without a jeep yeah exactly and and hey they pulled that off as well yeah <laughs> that was pretty cool so so 
Um, oh, and did anyone notice the major sponsor of the movie? <laughs> oh, Ford. <laughs> no, Miss- Samsung. Oh. oh, the phones, yeah. yeah. I was I was going to say, between Samsung and Mercedes, that's like a third of their budget covered. Oh, yeah, and, oh, yeah, and Mercedes, and then there was the, the old Ford um, Jeeps. Yeah, um, Ford and Jeep is not a thing. Well, it, it said it had the Ford Ford Explorers. Ford Sorry, Explorers yeah. were, the orig- were the original go-arounds, but the yeah. Jeeps were Jeeps. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh, the throwbacks, they were just insane. And it was sort of, like, I went in expecting the raptor scene where he's training the raptors to be absolutely fucking ridiculous. But... It's dead, it was great. uh, They did that perfectly. Like, seriously, the best actors in that movie were the raptors. The raptors. (laughs) Like, you could see this, like, they did away with 2 and 3, where in 2 and 3, the dinosaurs weren't dinosaurs, they were monsters. And a lot of the case, in... Jurassic Park 2, the T-Rexes weren't dinosaurs, they were monsters. In Jurassic Park 3, the Spinosaurus wasn't a dinosaur, it was a monster. It was chasing them for no reason whatsoever. And it was just following them. T-Rex, in number 2, was effectively a monster. It followed them and followed them and followed them. Um, It's understandable why it followed up. They actually gave it a bit of motivation, but for the most part, it was effectively a monster. Um, And in this, the Velociraptors weren't. Even the Indomin- even the Indominus Rex wasn't. It was very sort of, you could see it thinking. You could see it sort of, it had emotion to its animation a lot more than the previous Jurassic Park movies. And, yeah. Hell, even Rexy in this one had more emotion. Oh yeah, Rexy was great. Um, so, but um, admittedly, the, the reason that I'd, I'd, I'd only rate it 7 out of 10 is because the first half hour, hour of the movie... It's a bit it's, slow. It's a bit slow and a bit plotty, but it's got to be. And there yeah. seriously yeah. needs to be an employee part of the employee manual for Jurassic Park that states, under no circumstances are your children allowed to come to this island. <laughs> Isn't that sort of like an old argument? So, yeah. To be fair, the throwbacks were like, as I said, oh, like, yeah. it, and it started... Straight at the beginning, the the old gate and the, that iconic music. Yeah. Oh, that, as soon as I heard that, as soon as I heard that music, I I was just like, I, I, I was like, sold I, as I, soon as they played the old music. Yeah. I I, I I zoned like I actually zoned out that like the whole beginning when they played the music and the gates opened. I zoned completely out. Just close our eyes and just listen to the music. Yeah. Um, yep. It was it was. It was good to see the park set up, but there's a lot of safety. Like in Op- Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, you can have a park about that size. Um, maybe not that many people, but about that size. And one of the big things they make you build in Operation Genesis, because you know they actually have a plan for safety, is bunkers. And you've got to place them around the island, in ca- around your zoo, your park, in case one of the dinosaurs gets out, and you can activate the emergency system. And everybody goes and hides in bunkers, which cannot be broken into. So, yeah, well, creators of Jurassic World, bunkers, good fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> but then it wouldn't be so fun. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, let's let's back towards the start. So they, the kids, um, auntie is the person is equivalent of John Hammond. She's the person running the park. Um, the one who's a even reference part. Hammond. Yeah. They, yeah. the, the building was actually named after Hammond, which I thought was a really nice head nod. Considering the Hammond Genetic Research yeah, Lab, yeah. That holographic dinosaurs in there, which was funny. Like the Velociraptor getting distracted <laughs> by the Dilophosaurus, that was fucking great. Was like, huh? Yeah, sort of a, what the hell? Um, then you've, and um, they go around, and the main sort of stadium behind that is this massive lake in which inside is a Moslasaur, which is freaking huge. Um, <laughs> okay, that would have been cool to have, like, I saw it in 2D, but I was like, there were some really cool parts that would have been awesome in 3D, and that would have been one of them. Yeah. Just seeing it rise up out of the water. Yeah. And ob nom nom something. Exactly. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Bye the, bye, shark. And the splash zone, it's like, everyone's got their phones out, oh no, here comes the water, and their fo- your phone is now fucked. Congratulations. <laughs> but magically, it works later. <laughs> Did you notice that they were all using Galaxy S5s, which were uh, actually 
waterproofed for splash damage like that. They were. Yeah. Look at the S fives and F sixes. They were all using uh, splash proof phones. Oh, okay, cool. I take that. I'll, I'll withdraw my point. Um, so yeah, then they sort of move on from there, and the because the the auntie is too busy running the park to actually hang out with the kids, so she gives the assistant the job of looking after the kids, and she's a bitch. No <laughs> mental butts. She's, actually, uh, interesting. She's interesting. A, uh, that's just about interesting she's thing a, with. The... She's effectively oh, the go. lawyer from the first movie. Yeah, uh, interesting thing with the um the actor who plays the assistant. Actually, she actually plays um, uh, everyone remember the TV show Merlin? Yeah. Yeah. She plays um uh Morgan or Morgana. Morgana, I knew I recognized Arthur's, her. Arthur's sister. Nice. Well, half sister, evil witch thing, but yeah, that was. Yeah, her. yeah I know who you mean. Yeah. No, that makes it makes the decision. Yeah, I saw. Her, I was like, hey, Morgana's in this. <laughs> So yeah. anyway, so the kids get the shits with constantly being looked after her, and they so they they leg it, and they make their way out thanks to the VIP pass or out to the far reaches of the park to an area where they've got these um the geosphere things, whatever the hell they were. Um, hamster balls. The hamster balls, respectively. The, the gyrospheres is what they call. Gyrospheres. That's even them. the kid calls it the hamster balls. So <laughs> man. yeah, even they call it the hamster balls. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway. they're actually called gyrospheres. And they've got a little, like, joystick to control them so you can drive them around wherever you want to go and go through the paddock and make your way back. The alarm and Jimmy goes... Fallon giving you instructions. Yeah, and a little... <laughs> that was... I, did it, I did not understand why they had Jimmy Fallon with the instructions. That just seemed weirdly out of place. It was yeah. just comic and... A little bit of comic and humour sort of thing. Yeah, a bit of comedy. Yeah, comic could have gone someone better than Jimmy Fallon. They didn't want anyone better than Jimmy Fallon because they wanted him to cock it all up. So, yeah. Anyway, um... So they drive this thing around for a bit, and um, it sort of moves away from focusing on them and moves off to focusing on the, the raptor training, which was spectacularly done. Shows the raptors in full, full inside the cage chasing a, a pig, and the poor pig, pig. The pig gets, oh, the poor bacon. Yeah, the pig, poor bacon. Um, <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I saw the pig, I was like, oh, poor babe. And then, and then it sort of moves <laughs> off and introduces the um, Indominix a little bit, showing him to the new John Hammond, sort of run head of InGen. The uh, new multinational billionaire with more money than sense. Yeah, that guy. Um, it just sounds like Bruce Wayne and Oliver Queen. Yeah, but... They have common sense. I was going to say... Sure, sure about that? Th th to a point. They... At least they. This logic. guy has none. He thinks he's. This guy thinks he is the maverick of the helicopter world, and when he can barely fly. Okay, that was funny though. I actually found that yeah, really that, funny. That was good. I like that. Anyway, um, so I, I thought it was good right until the point where he wrecked the freaking chopper. Yeah, mind you, it's it's fairly hard to dodge a swarm of pterosaurs, especially when yeah. they're attacking you. Not really much you can do at that point. Um, anyway, nah. anyway. Um, so they move on to, and they show the Indominix, and it's wide, and it's like, oh, why is it white? It looks stupid. Mm -hmm. That's a bit of a bitch. And as soon as I, as soon as they said it was white, I'm like, what yeah. you want to bet that 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 can change fucking thing can change color? Yeah, can camouflage. And then um, he goes, oh, we need to bring in the Raptor trainer guy because he's an expert. We need to sort of assess the pen and make sure that it it can't escape and it. Yeah. <laughs> so that works. And so, so it goes well. downhill from there. So and then it goes back to the raptor guy, um, at the raptor pen, and the the pig is running around in there for some reason, and the young kid reaches over to try and grab the the pig with a noose and lift it out of raptor reach, and the raptor grabs it and yanks him over the railing. My first thought was, um, guy, Bye -bye, have you heard of a safety harness and a safety <laughs> rope? Second. Second being, oh, well, look, you're fucked. Raptor food. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's and that's when um, Star Lord gets in there, and, <laughs> and he does. Act Chris Pratt does actually have a name. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's Star Lord. <laughs> so Star Lord gets in the pen with them and hypnotizes them with some crocodile Dundee shit. And <laughs> that actually, that really was a cro very crocodile Dundee. -esque. <laughs> um. Gets the gu the guy gets out. He gets out, and um, it sort of shows that he's in control of the raptors to a point, where they'll sort of listen to him, 
Um, but, he's alpha, but... Yeah, he's alpha, but not by much. Yeah. They're, they're, they're sort of like, you're the boss, but we're not sure how far we can take this. We'll just sort of test the limit. Um, and then the chick turns up, drags him off to the Indominus pen. They go looking for it, and they can't find it. The All the tracking data shows that it, the heat sensing technology says it's not there. And they're like, what the hell? So he goes into the pen to have a look. And him and a really fat guy, like, makes me look like a twig level fat guy. <laughs> We're talking guard. Dennis Nedry Mark too. Oh yeah, no no, he makes Nedry look small. Nedry orbits him as a moon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mean sometimes. Anyway, yep. anyway, um, and a technician, and they realise that after looking for the tracker that's in the Indominus that it's actually still in the pen which totally confuses them because they found these massive claw marks up the wall and they thought it climbed out but it turns out it hasn't and they realize that they're in the pen with it so they leg it to get out at which point it reveals that it could change color reveals itself as actually in the pen and is bright green turns back to white and starts chasing them out of the pen breaks out of the pen eats the fat guy and fucks off into the bush um at which point they, they sort of do up they i think they call the alert then and there don't they and sort of shut everything down and get everyone no oh, that's uh, right they star don't star lord says you need to call an alert yeah. and close the close the park off now and they're like while he's completely no. down the toilet. yeah <laughs> yeah well, he's no why don't we do that or we'll never reopen yeah like, like we you're can't... gonna reopen with a freaking genetically modified freak dino on the loose yeah so and so, in the end, um, yeah, so he gets shot down. They refuse to close it down. Mr. Billionaire's like, no, we got this. We could we could catch this thing with freaking tasers. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's that's going to end really, really well. And that he, sounds as like as well as shooting it with bullets. Yeah, well, shooting it with bullets tasers... Bullets actually work. Shooting it with somewhat. tasers does nothing but piss it off. Um... <laughs> So they, they shoot it with tasers and nets and stuff to try and catch it, and it just absolutely annihilates the, the capture team. Um, and then it's, it's still making its way towards the main park. Um, Chris Pratt... Uh, sorry, Star-Lord, my bad. Um, psychoanalyzes it and sort of says, this thing is smart, it's been on its own, it's got no social skills, it has no idea about this outside world it's never seen before, it doesn't know where it is, what's going on, it's really only thinking about food at this point sort of thing and um so they try and find where it is and eventually they find it down near the uh, eventually um it goes back to the kids who are in the the hamster balls and they've found that there's an open gate which says restricted do not go down here and they're like we're going down there we no, 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 no. The, the younger kids like we should probably go back the older ones just like Eh, what can go wrong? Yeah, effectively. <laughs> uh, they find Everything. This, they find some um, ankylosaurs. He's like, look, see, I found four of these things. And the little kid's like, but there's five. And the brother's like, there's, there's four. What the hell do you mean five? And then they realize it's the reflection in the dome of the Indominus of behind the Indominus. them. And the Indominus goes to town on the ankylosaurs and effectively ignores them until the crazy auntie tries to ring them with their phone on the roof of the the, the, the... the sphere thing's upside down and the phone's on the roof and it's rattling. So it's rattling the whole thing. Yeah. And they eventually manage to get their hands on it and then they look up and here's the T-Rex... Um, sorry, the Indominus is just looking... Indominus Rex. Yeah. It's looking through the window T-Rex style. Just call it Indy. Indy. I Rex. Whatever. Indy's looking in through the window. God, I Irex sounds like a bad Apple product. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> as soon as I said Indy, I pictured it with the hat and a whip. That's what happens when Indy doesn't get his morning coffee. <laughs> in, oh, no. Eat it, it, it Snickers. Snickers, Dad. It's it, always it, just something. You, you, you turn into a monster when you haven't had one. Better? Better. <laughs> Better. 
<laughs> so anyway, so the the Indominus proceeds to smash the ever loving crap out of that, and the the kids manage to get away and jump off the cliff and escape. Um, soon thereafter, they stumble into the original original visitor center, which has broken oh, yeah. dinosaur yes. skeletons. Yeah. This is right in the fields. This is the end of the first movie. The banners yeah. on the ground still where it landed next to the T Rex. The skeletons are smashed exactly where they were left in that. And if you look really closely, you can actually see the raptor skeleton on the T-Rex skeleton on the stairs. Yeah, um, it's, it was so, that was oh, so amazing. Power right in the feels. Um, yeah. I am, it was actually funny when I saw it. I saw it and I was like, oh, and everyone actually told me to shut up. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I actually yelled out, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they find some old jeeps and they start MacGyvering the crap out of the jeeps to try and get them to work. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was funny. The uh, hunter and the the auntie eventually working together. Yeah, Star Lord. Star Lord and the auntie catch uh find their way to the visitor center. Get slightly attacked by by Indy. Um, Only slightly. Yeah, slightly. Um, they manage to they manage to get away, sort of. Indy makes his way to the Avery, smashes his way through that, which then, by which point they've mounted a machine gun onto the side of the helicopter, and they, seriously, it's either he's the worst flying person in history and he can't even hover the helicopter still, or the guy on the gun can't aim for shit, because... Uh, I'm going to say a combination of both. Yeah, probably a combination of both. One, he can't, he couldn't hold the chopper steady. Two, the guy on the gun has never actually used it. Yeah. Anyway, the point is that they... Shot a machine gun at it and a uh, Gatling gun at it and missed. Um, repeatedly. Repetitively. Over and over and over. So it crashes into the, the Avery, has a bit of a chomp around, and then heaps of, bur- heaps of them, the pterosaurs escape, <laughs> smash the into the helicopter and kill everybody in there. At which point it crashes into the dome, blows up, and even more of them get out. The Dominic thinks, this is all, oh, this is a lot of fun chasing these flying things around. And Indy uh, proceeds to piss off somewhere else um by which point i think the kids have made it back to the main park at this point haven't they yeah they have yeah they, that's right they they've, drove they they've, drove the old jeep up to the old yeah up to the new park they drove the jeep and, up to the gate going let us in let us in and then they see the pterosaurs coming and the two security guys are going like eh, what? they're like what the hell i see this every day yeah look up oh shit yeah <laughs> so they they let eventually let the kids in um they run around the park, the, the main park. They sort of eva- the people get messed up by the, the pterosaurs. Eventually, the the aid gets picked up and dropped, and picked up and dropped, and picked up and dropped, and then nommed on by a mosasaur. That was actually done a lot better than I thought it was going to be done. Um, that was actually really cool. This is where the movie gets like, it goes from pretty cool fanboy service to holy mother of god, this is fucking spectacular. <laughs> it's about this point here, which is the point I'm going to stop describing it to you. Because this is the point that I want you to go and watch the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, it's well worth it. Yeah, all it I'm... is definitely worth. Like, I really, I want to go see it again. Like, it is definitely something I'll pay to go see again. Yeah, like I'm, I like the fact I'm that going you... again on Tuesday. So... I like the fact that's tomorrow. I'm well away. I like the fact is they use <laughs> electronic. Um, yeah. that most of the, ro- um, dinosaurs. Mostly ro- most of the dinosaurs are robots. Yeah. Electronics. Yeah, but they're back to using animatronics over CG. Yeah. Which is which really paid off. But that said, the CG they used, especially Oh, pardon me, on the Raptors. But like, you look at the Raptors and you know in the first movie when um that Raptor lifts up the curtain and looks around the room and you can see that it's figuring stuff out. They've yeah. managed to do that with all four. All four Raptors were independent characters. All four Raptors acted and reacted. Um, and it was absolutely sort of spectacular. Oh, we forgot to mention the part where they chased the Indominix down with the raptors. That was earlier. I forgot to mention that. That was after the, after the, um, the birds part. What was it before the birds part? After the birds. After the birds. After After the birds. birds. Because then they they didn't get to, they didn't get to use the raptors in that way until Chopper Boy was dead. That's that's right, yeah. Um, but yeah, Yeah. it turns out that the Indominix was designed for military use, because <laughs> you know that, that they missed the entire the, the whole meaning of the movie is don't fuck with nature. So the first thing they do is 
fuck with nature. What can we do to make this a military application? Yeah. So it has. Hey, it we had, want funding. Oh, yeah. It's ruffling. Cuddle, Sorry, cuddle, that was me. Cuttlefish DNA, raptor DNA, T Rex DNA, um, it's a f frog DNA. Frog DNA. Frog DNA. It's just like why? Yeah, it's like what the hell? It could change it's, its like, color. Yeah. It's, it's it's just yeah, it was, it was it could, broken. It could drop its heartbeat down to nearly to non-existent. Yeah. It could sense it's like, heat from a distance. You you made a super weapon yeah. dinosaur. What is wrong with you idiots? Yeah. It's like what did you expect to happen? And they wanted to shrink it down to a smaller size. Yeah. Um, which would have been... And basically shrink it down to raptor size and then turn it loose on <laughs> Actually, I just Afghanistan. saw something we didn't mention. Yeah. It's back when they were talking about it the first time and it's like, oh yeah, it had a sibling. It's like, where's the sibling? It ate it. Yeah. Um... <laughs> it's like, I, I heard that. I was just like, oh god. Yeah. Like the, the, and just on the note it just the, ate its sibling. What yeah. sign is that that it's not going to be potential, particularly a good idea to let it live for much longer? Yeah, well, remember in the first Jurassic Park when they one of the female raptors they released in ate all but two of the others? Mm. Yeah. So. I love um, when the raptors turned on the humans, the, the scene where they're chasing them in the grass. Yeah. Once again, throwbacks. Yeah, well, my... It's not a Jurassic Park movie without the raptors in tall grass. Exactly. And um, I love the camera. They put, the ca oh, yeah. that, they put the cameras on the raptor really... for raptor point of view shots, and that was fucking spectacular. That the was part so... that really actually annoyed me. And sorry, guys. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah we, we, we'll move on to the annoying section now. We, we, with the exception of at the end, was... the yep. only stuff we're not going to talk about is the stuff after... They they got back to the main part of the park because I want don't want to ruin that for the the people who haven't seen it. So as yeah. long as it's before uh, that, it's that, fine. Uh, it's right around the same point, but before the final yeah. battle sequence, sort of. Yeah. Um, I think part, the part that really got me upset was when I think it was Charlie. Yeah. Copped the rocket in the face. Yeah. Oh. One of the one of them <laughs> copped the rocket. That was pretty sad. I saw that. That was, was when I just went the raptor. No! I actually cringed. I was like, oh! Like, everyone in the cinema, right? Because I saw it at South Bank. Everyone was like, oh! Because so, no one expected the rocket. Yeah. That, that, that no one came out of the no rocket. way. Yeah. It's like, no one ever expects the rocket. Yeah. So, um. I mean, it was cool, but so out of oh, the yeah. blue. Yeah. And that, I think that was probably the point. <laughs> And that hunting sequence when they were sort of going towards the Indominus, or towards Indy, um, that was also <laughs> pretty squad. spectacular. Oh, how they were like switching over to how they were, like switching between lead and stuff. Yeah, and they were sort of moving around, and you could actually see them sort of hunting, like proper hunting, and they'd, they'd animated that so spectacularly. So, but probably my favourite moment in the whole movie, outside of the ending, which is by far the pinnacle. Um, oh was God, when he's, they're talking to the geneticist and the geneticist is like these aren't what dinosaurs would have looked like these are monsters that we've made by mixing DNA and it's like they needed to say that specifically because all the paleontologists in the world are going to get why the velociraptors so big <laughs> questions so they had to sort of outline that yes the raptors was in. We now know raptors had feathers. We now know so many other things about dinosaurs that aren't representative in the movie. Yeah. So, yeah. Speaking of really quickly, speaking of the raptors, I've been playing Ark Survival Evolved, um, and I've got four tamed raptors. Guess what their names are? <laughs> Charlie uh, Blue and whatever else. Charlie Char Blue, Delta, Delta Echo, and Blue. Yeah. I like blue. Blue just has the, the random blue stripe on its skin. That was yeah. pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to go back and watch that again. I definitely think my, my favourite scene has to be, like, the, the gates opening and that music. Yeah. Just, ah, mm -hmm. oh, Sweet, mm -hmm. sweet, scary memories of yeah. watching that as a child. Well, that sweet, is sweet, scary memories. That is exactly why I made it my number one music. So, it is so beautiful. Like, uh, I, I just, God, John Williams, you're a genius. Yeah. So, the 
Okay, let's move on to the stuff we didn't like. And to me, it was the general acting, to be perfectly blunt. Yeah, I didn't really get involved with the yeah. acting, like, with the actors. <laughs> yeah. Like, Star-Lord was good, don't get me wrong. The auntie was okay. The uh, assistant chick, she was just pain in the eye. I didn't, didn't really like her, but that's how she was written. Um, well, yeah. she, was, she was fairly well act. She, she acted fairly well for it, but it still was like very sort of. Yeah, eh. she she did the bitch role well. <laughs> yeah, she did. Um, and but, well, the um, the army guy was really cool. I actually, I kind of liked him actually. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the army guy. Yeah, he was all the, right. The asshole army. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was he was a dick too. Um, yeah, so, I, but, I just found uh, the the helicopter. I just wish someone. Would, I oh, just the, wish one of the kids had actually gotten eaten. Yeah, that would have been a nice change. Yeah, instead of having to save them all the time. Yeah. Or at least, or maybe not eat them, but at least lost a limb or something. Oh, that, that almost really? happened. That came, that came close <laughs> yeah. to happening. That, that was very close. So, yeah, yeah and, I hated I hated the the acting of the of the um, uh, billionaire guy. Just, yeah. Ugh. That was just so cringeworthy. Yeah, it was. You want to know what he actually reminded me of? Raj from what Big the... Bang Theory? Nope. <laughs> the uh, dodgy billionaire guys from, oh, multi millionaire guys from Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Yeah, now that you mention it. Okay, anyway. Still is. Not, not GTA 4 or 5, Vice City. We're going all, I'm going old school with these ones. Yep, yeah, I, I remember Vice City because you could fly a tank. <laughs> fly a tank? How'd that work? <laughs> Cheat codes. You put dodo cars on, you turn the turret around and aim it behind you when you shoot the turret, which gives you, from recoil, enough thrust to fly the tank. <laughs> basically, you can pull an, basically, you can pull an AT. Yeah. And, but the difference yeah, is... you flying can, the tank. <laughs> yeah. But legitimately fly it. You could fly it into the other planes and admittedly you pass straight through them, but you could still do it. It's really funny. Um, okay, anyway, so final review. Scores out of 10. Um, everyone knows mine's seven out of ten. Uh, Scarecrow. Solid eight. Would have been a would have been nine if one of the kids got chomped. <laughs> Don't ask me. Okay. Uh, I gotta go seven and a half. I had a seven bit of half? work to improve on, but yeah. really, really solid movie overall and yeah. really cool um stat with it that I'm gonna bring up now is how much it they broke the box office record. Oh, we didn't weekend. just break the box office record, it left it, it in pieces. It. Yeah, five hundred and eleven million in, over the week over its opening weekend. Not even Avengers got close to that. Yeah, so not even Avengers one got close to that. I know it annihilated. I think the only other one that I think the only other one that got close to that was um, Avatar. Avatar did probably. Really well. Yeah, probably Avatar, but it, it completely blew it out of the park. No pun intended. Yeah. So anyway, not really um, surprising that you've got by the point they did this one, you've got basically three to four generations all wanting to see this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. Like you've got the grandparents who took the grandkids to see it. Yeah. Just out of memory, they want to go see it again because hey, yeah. dinosaurs. I, I was I've been talking about it with my grandma. My grandma wants parents. to see it. She's, and she's eighty something years. Old. Yeah. She's seventy. Parents. Six, the, five. Yeah. <laughs> the parents who took their kids to see it. The kids who went to see the original, oh, the parents who their kids to see the originals. Exactly. The kids who saw the originals, and now the younger generation that are being dragged along by those of us who saw the originals as kids and have now had and kids. And are now terrified. Yeah. And are now terrified of dinosaurs for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Okay. Like we were. <laughs> anyway, moving on, we've got start, we, we've only got about twenty minutes left, so let's shift gears and move on to a new sci-fi series called Dark Matter. Now, Dark oh, Matter is a series done by the Stargate creators. So, yeah, it's producers and writers of Stargate. Yeah. Um, so, this is strange because I managed to actually lose the files, so... You suck. Dude, you can watch it on Sci-Fi's website. They actually have the episode up on there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, give me 15 minutes, I'll have it down. I haven't had time. But right now, the only thing that Dark Matter bring, uh, makes me think of... Is the X of Dark Matter. Yeah. Hawk, get your mind out of the Gundam. Uh, <laughs> so since only... Cho I'm just being honest. So I I've seen it, Stuart. Yep. yep. Seen it. Amy? 
Sorry, being sidetracked. You both suck. Um, so me and Stuart are gonna. Us, yeah. Um, so me, I actually enjoyed it. I've watched it twice. Um, and it had a very Stargatey sort of feel to it, like the way they sort of run it. Um, yeah, especially especially at the beginning there. Yeah, it, it it almost felt like Stargate Universe. Maybe cry a little. Um, so they're like, oh my god, it's Stargate Universe season three, finally. <laughs> no, it's dark better. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what the title has to do with it yet, though. Dark Matter? Yeah, not yeah. sure. Because um, I thought, because I actually thought that was the ship's name. We find out that it's not the ship's name. No. Because um, I must say, that would be an awesome name for a ship. Yeah. Don't tell me they're playing with Dark Matter engine cores. Does it, they not don't that say we're anything. aware of. They don't say anything no, they like don't that. Say... They, they suggest that there's this room on the ship that you can't go into because it's locked and everything that's inside it is scary and terrifying. But yeah. other than and that... So, like, one of the guys tries to shoot the door down and it reflects back on him. <laughs> yeah, it just, yeah, it just reflects straight <laughs> back at him, knocks him, the, knocks him clean out. So funny. Um, yeah, probably deserves it. So, yeah, but oh, you, yeah. So, who did you recognise? You didn't oh, really... um, there was um 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 the chick, not the blue haired chick, the other one. Yeah. I know her from somewhere, but I can't remember where. The blue haired chick. She's from Stargate. No, no, no. Well, yeah, no, she... she's really. Yeah, she played seven year old oh. Adria, and in oh, Stargate wow. Atlanta, she played a princess on one of the ah. on one of these other planets. Um, and I recognised her because in the audio commentary. All of the Stargate producers were raving about how she's going to be the next Summer Glau. And after watching uh, Dark Matter, yeah. Yeah, you can she see She is it, the yeah. next Summer Glau. She is the next can... big female sort of sci-fi actress. She is awesome. Yeah. Especially how just... I love how her role she was just showing. She just did all... She's like, ran off all the medical terms. I was just like, yeah. okay, that would have taken ages to get right and probably many of takes in case you get tongue-tied. Yeah. Well, um, I sort of had a Firefly feeling about it. It's a, yeah, it has the Firefly you got, feeling. You've got, you got the guy with the big guns, Jane. You've got um, crazy blue-haired the... girl is halfway between Kaylee and River. Um, yeah. You've got crazy sword guy who's crazy sword guy. You've got a, <laughs> you've got the female you got the, you got the, captain you got... who is effectively... Um, what's his face? Wow, my brain has just died altogether. Nathan Fillion, um, and then you've got the other guy who's effectively the the older brother or to um, River. What's his name? That doctor guy is effect. He's sort of a peace first type mentality. Um, oh yeah. So, so they, they they spend the first sort of twenty minutes, half hour of the episode trying to sort out who they are, where they are, what the hell's going on. Their ship has been crippled, um, life support's failing, they get out, beat the crap out of each other a bit. Um, <laughs> the security robot. <laughs> oh, that security now, robot have, was great. Oh, where have I seen that actress from? Stargate as well. Okay, because yeah. that uh, that one I saw, I was just like, okay, now I know I've seen you from somewhere, but I can't she think of it. She was on Prometheus in Stargate SG-1. She was one of the scientists on that. I'm sure of it. Um... Let me, bring up, let me bring up the IMDb for it. Yeah, I'm just about to do the same. <laughs> um, because I just saw the face, I was like, okay, I know I know you from somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so they uh, named each other based on the order they woke up. Oh, yeah, so, so one, two, three, four. You've got um, Mark, Ben David, Ben David, whatever, you, however, is, is one. <gasps> That's where I know her from. Ah, she was in Lost Girl. Yeah. Oh, I the, was. Um, I was wrong. The android That's... chick. Okay. I think. Yeah, I was... no, she was in Lost Girl, and I've watched Lost Girl. I was like, ah. Yeah. Which character? Uh she uh was uh Lauren or Doctor Lewis. Oh, yeah. so both at the moment. Yeah. Oh, not both. Yeah. Um, the one from Star um NCIS. My bad, I was wrong. Yeah, she's she, 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 she in NCIS. She's not credited yeah. as being in NCIS. She is. 
if she's yeah. a doctor. Also, yeah, um, anyway. Yeah, I was about to say, I knew I saw her face on someone, and it was, so... I was wrong, she is not in... Not who you were thinking of. Yeah, she's not in Stargate. She's not the actress I think, thought she was. There's Roger R. Ross, who's the token black guy. Sorry, but it's true. <laughs> um, yeah, there's always, got... the one, there's always one that... Um, oh. Jodley Fairland? I, don't, I totally butchered her name is oh, the sh she's, she's the blue haired chick the blue haired chick and she's the one that played adria and where's the princess's name it's just here i had it a second ago oh Scroll interesting uh roger roger r cross is an arrow oh harmony that's her name harmony she played harmony in stargate atlantis yeah is an arrow he was also in continuum yeah he was a uh, detective lewis hilton i'm guessing he got killed off yeah Oh! He was also in. Oh, um, yeah, I know the guy. Took me he was second. also in. Um, he was also in Continuum. You've got and a Dark Corner. Alex Malari. And Alex oh. Malari Jr. is in. He was in Robocop. Cybergeddon. Hey. He was in Nikita. True Justice. He played Hero in True Justice for a while. By the look of it. So yeah. Um, here's this crazy sword guy. You've then got the... Yeah. You've then got, um... Also Anthony, Neil, Lem she... Anthony no, Lemke. You... I'll get to him in a... Get there in a second. Um, he... Oh, was, well, what? he voiced as people in Assassin's Creed. He was in... He was in The yep. Listener with Rainbow Sun Franks. I knew I recognised him. I couldn't pick it. He was the boss in The Listener. If you haven't seen the listener, you yeah. really no, gotta go watch I knew it. From the, I knew from the video games because yeah. I recognise the voice. Yeah, um, and he's you see the crazy badass guy, isn't he? The give me no, lots he's of the, guns guy. He's the big gun. He's big gun guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then you got Melissa O'Neill. She's been in almost nothing. Yeah, no, she, this is her. This, this is her first major role. She was. She did a lot of Broadway with um, yeah. Les Miserables and uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. So this is her big, big uh, major acting. Yeah. And by the looks of it, she su she suits it as well. Oh yeah, she I did like, a I like her. did a really good job. And then um, Mark uh, Ben David, uh, whatever, however you say his name. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm butchering it. I guess no, I, th he's I been think it's Ben David. He's been in a it's few things ben as David well. Ben so. David. Yeah. So. But yeah, no, really, a uh, really interesting uh, group of people. I've noticed a lot of them have been in Nikita. Yeah, I noticed that There's too. A, <laughs> it's like they just stole the cast on the key to basically. Yeah. Could be well, worse. They could be stealing the cast from Stargate. <laughs> well, we have a then, it just, then it would just be recalled Stargate Next Gen. <laughs> Stargate, <much>. we're back. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, I'm really, uh, I really got into it, and then the plot twist at the end was was so good. Oh yeah, you, you need to. You need to watch it. The, the last sort of two minutes falls into the category of Draw on Ground. So anyway, Wait. yeah, they, they, they wake <laughs> up, they go to a planet, they find the planet's Shoot. got some colonists on it. The colonists are expecting to be attacked by these big bad reptilian things that are meant to wipe them out and they're waiting for a whip, weapon shipment. They're like, well, our ship's got lots of weapons on it. We've, we all, we're obviously the weapon shipment. We've just totally forgotten because they can't remember anything. <laughs> Oh, they go back up to the ship. They're debating cool. about who should or shouldn't, if they should or shouldn't give them the weapons because they can't remember sort of owing it to them. Bum, bum, yeah. bum. They're reptilians. <laughs> no, they're, they're not reptilians. I know, they're not reptilians, but they're the, the people that are, they assume are reptilians. They're like pirates and they've got like a rap sheet each that's like 30 things long. But Except for the blue haired chick. Except for the blue haired chick. Who is then a, why is she which, there? Which is who's the that we don't know. Yeah, again. I'm guessing she's a prisoner. I'm guessing she's her escort. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, so, <laughs> so, yeah. Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> We're not watching Dragon Ball Z. We're watching Dark Matter. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. It seems appropriate. Uh, I, I'm looking, going through um, their IMDb's, and I found something cool with um Jadel Ferland. Yeah. She was. She did the voice of the little sisters in uh, Bioshock Two. Oh. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, oh, 
Ooh. She knows how to get creepy. This could get interesting. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Good thing. Uh, yeah. Very good thing, because I actually really enjoyed Bioshock 2. It got a lot of, I know a lot of people slammed it, but I enjoyed it, so. I've never um, seen it. Never played it. Not also, playing it's on. a game. Um, going back to Dark Man, I, I really, really enjoyed the episode. The, um, the set looked amazing. The Oh yeah, the ship the looks spectacular. Yeah. The dojo looks, inc it looks so cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, th as soon as I opened the door, I was just like, Dojo? <laughs> like, ooh, look at all the shinies that I want. I want one of those and one of those. Ooh, I'll have one of them. And then they open the guns and I'm like, ooh, I'll have one of those and one of those <laughs> and one was of them. That, um, what was that big one he had? I have no idea. That's See, the one that I shot the was... giant pulse thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a pulse, some sort of pulse cannon, I'm guessing. Yeah. There's only one thing to See, call it. The BFG, BFG 9000. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We'll get to be. We'll get to the proper BFG in a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so Stuart, even though it's first impressions, and we'll come back to it at the end of the season. What uh, really, do you expect really... to come? I do expect. Uh, well, we need to find out what the blue chick. Uh, um, her backstory. What her... Yeah, we need to find out what she what, what she is. I want actually want to get like a couple of I want to have like a couple of episodes where it actually flashbacks and shows them during the criminal criminal times. I think that'd be really interesting. That'd be Here's cool. a question: Are you sure the criminals and the rap sheets aren't just made up? That could, could also be, be true. Could... But that said, yeah. their skill set that they demonstrated, yeah. <laughs> especially especially the, also, the have they also been in like the prior tube sort of thing? Yeah. Yeah, they're in stasis. Uh, hello. Does anyone remember a movie called Demolition Man? <laughs> so the yes. skills that they've demonstrated might have been programmed into them while they were in cryo. Yeah. Which would also explain why there's memory, because they also have all memory loss, and they have no idea how they got in, how they got into the ship in the cryo. So yeah. what I'm guessing, and I can only say guess because we've only seen yeah. the first episode, is the blue head is the blue head chick. I think she she's five or four or something. I think she's five. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, I the, think the technically what, minded can fix anything, chick. Yeah, I think what she did is that she put everyone in stasis and then wiped everyone's memories somehow. Yeah. So no one would remember anything. Yeah. Even her own? Even her own. Yeah. Why, would she wanna rem why would she want to remember everything? Yeah, she's probably a stowaway. That's my guess. Um, well, that yeah, too. I'm predicting. The question is, what was will... that ship that went after him? Yeah. I will rate this. Oh, we're doing ratings? Yeah, I'll give the first episode 6 out of 10. Give... 7 out of 10. 6, six out of 10. I'm giving it's, it a 7. It's, it... I could see there is a lot of potential. Oh, and... yeah. Especially, uh, I know something really interesting. Uh, when um, they were on the planet, the necklace. He yeah. was looking at... They're, so, they're either, I'm guessing those two are either distant um, relatives or he's seen that necklace somewhere before. Yeah. He f he so found guess, it. He I'm... found it under the pillow. Remember? Oh yeah, it was under the pillow. So then maybe they are maybe they are yeah. relatives then. Maybe okay. they are long lost brothers, sister, cousin, or something. Anyway, really quick, you've been watching E three, so give us. You've got four minutes left. Yeah. So um... E three kicked off with a bang. Um, uh, but there's they had their uh, showcase today. The only panel is not a horrendous time for us Australians, and they came out guns firing yep they showed a uh, new doom which looks absolutely beautiful which can be described as master chief in hell <laughs> 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 with with throwbacks galore you got the they got the old double barrel shotgun from doom one the doors actually make the the original doom um doors noise nice yeah, they make them uh, you can, uh, the Revenant is back. Nice. And they actually show off Hell, and then they actually show off Doom in Hell. Very nice. Yeah, there's also, they also show off multiplayer. So there is, there is a single player and a multiplayer to this. Multiplayer is a, is arena style, uh, based games, and you can also play as the Revenant in the multiplayer. Nice. Actually, it's a temporary power-up. 
Oh, well, it's still, but you can still use you, it. You have to find the location that activates it. It's like a uber death god mode. You start flying around, and you got rocket launchers on your shoulder. Yeah. On your shoulders. Then it moves up to... Go uh, nuts! <laughs> yeah, then it moves to a really cool part. Uh, it's called Doom Snap Map. That's so where you get does... to make your own map. Yeah, you can make you make your own maps, and you get to upload them for players to use. So you can make co-op maps, you can make survival horde types of maps, you can make anything you want. It's effectively forge mode on Halo. Yeah, it's basically yeah, it's, yeah. And I think it's a really cool option that Bethesda threw in. Yeah. Um, so that is coming out uh, the their spring next year, our fall next year. So early earliest in the year. Yeah. Uh, don't moved... forget. Don't forget for the. The stuff for Doc. Huh? Did Doc, you miss the ultimate Fallout fanboy. Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm getting to that. I'm going in order of the panel. Yeah. So How next, they... cover the bright high points. <laughs> uh, next, they moved on to uh, Battlecry. Didn't show much for Battlecry. They just said uh, worldwide beta is out, so you can apply it for beta. Uh, moved on to Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited, which is the console versions of ESO. Yep. Uh, they didn't have much there because they because they just released it for console, so they will be uh, the all the guys who are in the office working. But they showed a little uh, video of what's to come, which is the Imperial City in the ruins, and it looks amazing. Yep. Uh, then they moved on to Dishonored 2, which unfortunately accidentally got a little bit leaked. A little bit. The day beforehand, what they did it, they were doing a mic test, and they accidentally got leaked down onto the stream. Well, that's what but I guess when I'm turning the damn mics down, just saying. <laughs> yeah, what was also shown was a little video of who you can play as. So you can play as two characters. You can either play as Corvo, who's the main protagonist from one, or you can play as Emily, who is a little girl in uh, Dishonored 1, who's now all grown up and very badass. Very nice. Yeah, and then we move on to the to the piece of our resistance. The all pit four. boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There is so much info that came out from Fallout 4. Uh, they showed a, ga uh, a gameplay trailer, so you start the game pre-nuclear war, uh, you can pre everything choose, going bye bye. Yeah, pre everything going bye bye. You can choose. You can choose to be male or female. Uh, the customization for your face is so much smoother. You actually just move your cursor over your nose, like your nose or something, and it changes. Oh wow! So that, that sounds yeah. like it's gonna be painful. It's... <laughs> painful really... in what way? For your system? <laughs> It's really sm like it's really really smooth and yeah. and it's seamless transition. You can name your character, and this is where it gets really cool. They actually have they're actually programmed into the game a th thousand most popular ma um, male and female names because there's your main protagonist actually talks and has conversations. Ooh. So once you get your name. You go out and you have um, a robot called Cogsworth and it's like, greeting, it's like, good morning, Mr. or Mrs. blah, 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 whatever your name is. Would you let me make you breakfast? And it does a little bit thing on that. And then um, you have a baby and your baby is based on what you what you are as a character. Nice. So then it goes to the scene to the baby and then there's a knock at the door and guess who comes? vault <laughs> Anyway, we've got less than a minute left, dude, so... Yeah, there's, there's, there's so much. Uh, Cliff Notes, it looks amazing. Uh, you can get a real Pip-Boy with the Collector's Edition. You can order that from EB Games for $108 for $190. Yep. <laughs> there goes money. Um, there's a tons of... You can customize your weapons and power armor in the game, as well as your own colony. So you can actually put weapons and defend your own colony. Sweet. Okay, we, well, we're out of here. Um, really quickly, Reboot is getting a Reboot. Uh, scrolling up. <laughs> It is official. Uh. Han shot first. It they found an old, they found an old script which sh t says definitely Han shot first. Um, apparently, signed on to do thirty-eight more Jurassic Jurassic movies. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Anyway, catch you guys later. Bye. All. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>